welcome to live streaming session. Uh, we are back and I'm with Norwegian Seafood Booth and with me Kun AB. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ Hi, how Hi. are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. It's yes. great to be here at uh, Tarfex Anuga this year. Right. Even though it's COVID-19, it seems mm. to be a, a good show, and we uh, we appreciate being here. Right. First of all, thank you for being here with us, and secondly, you're going to be taking me on tour. Yes, I will. We. I represent the Norwegian Seafood Council and um, the Norwegian Seafood Exporters. And uh, seafood is a very important business for uh, for Norway. We export mm. 2.7 million tons of seafood every year. Whoa! And <laughs> sea, um, salmon and fjord trout is the most uh, prominent product that we have, and or the biggest product here in Thailand. Okay. And uh, it's well known in Thailand. Thailand, you know that. And, of course. And Thai, Thai people love. Salmon. The salmon. Yes, yeah. we do. But we also have other species uh, okay. here in our fish counter. There's oh, wow. uh, a lot of uh, wide variety of species from Norway. I can tell you more about right. that if you like. I would love to hear about it, and I would love to learn about salmon because I eat salmon myself, and I can't wait for you to show me what you have over here. Okay, I'll start with the salmon over here. Uh -huh. Salmon is uh, uh, the farm product that we have farmed for over 50 years. And yes. uh, Norway is the biggest producer of, of Atlantic salmon in the world. In the world, yeah. number one. And we actually introduced salmon into sushi and sashimi. Yes. So before <laughs> the, the, the Japanese people, they didn't eat salmon on the sushi topping. Ah. But in 1986, we went to Japan with our salmon and introduced it. And now uh, the sushi sashimi trend is going global. I've and heard about that, yes. That's due to the, to the salmon. Yes. And, and, it, and it goes well together, salmon and sushi. Uh, salmon is so good. It's it's uh, <laughs> and it's it's so good with, to eat right? uh, as it is uh, yeah. for raw consumption. That's true. Uh, we also have other species here, like the Norwegian halibut and the Norwegian mackerel, which, which is a very big product here in Asia. Oh, you call oh. it the saba, saba mackerel. Oh, okay, okay, saba. Uh huh. And then you over on the uh, right hand side, we have the fjord trout. And which the fjord one? trout is also a red fish, which is uh, farmed in Norway. Okay. And, um, it is um, very, very good taste, and it's uh, it's similar to salmon, but it's a different species. And we call it the fjord trout, and it's raised not in the rivers, but it's raised in out on the sea. How do you pronounce it again? Fjord trout. Again. Fjord means the, the fjords <laughs> of Norway. You need you. It's very Norwegian. Yeah, it's very Norwegian. <laughs> so hard to pronounce. Can I just call it trout? No, if you I, don't mind. I, I think you should call it the fjord trout. <laughs> Tuart, tuart cup fjord trout. trout. Okay. And then we, we have I the tried. Atlantic cod. And the Atlantic cod is the, is the fish that build Norway because that is a wild caught fish mm -hmm. that we fish uh, 400,000 tons a year. Right. And um, we do it in, we, we use it in many forms as stockfish. We dry it for stockfish and then we have clipped fish or, uh -huh. or um, bacalao, which is salted and dried cod. Right. Because we, we catch so much cod during the winter months mm. when it comes to the coast of Nor Norway to spawn mm -hmm. and um, we, therefore we need to uh, we need to conserve it in many different ways so the cod has been consumed in in many different countries like Italy Spain Nigeria right. Brazil and, and so on so, right. so it's an important product for Norway okay. and has been there for many many years right so of course salmon and all your fish uh, including trout and cod are doing well at Thai fix I believe Yes, we are, and and it's important for us to re be represented here at Typhex, even mm. though we have the COVID-19 situation. Mm. We are very happy that that this exhibition uh, are going on like uh, like uh, planned because we didn't believe that it actually was going to happen. Yeah. But uh, we are happy that it did, and it's so important for us uh, from Norway to 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 stay put in this market because it's it's a extremely important market for Norwegian seafood. Right. Uh, Thailand is the, the, the by far the biggest importer of uh, Norwegian uh, fish in Southeast Asia. Ah, nice to know that. And that's also why we, we, we moved our head office from Singapore to Thailand last year. I see, I see. Let me guess, you have a lot of hotel customers in Thailand. Yes, we have a lot of hotel customers and we are of course suffering right now due to the, to the um, to the lack in demand from the uh, hospitality industry. Um. However, I need to say that we are impressed by the demand uh, for in the domestic consumption of salmon in uh, in Thailand. Right. The, the decline in in export in fresh salmon Can we get and a bit trout closer? 
it's, okay. it's only uh, it's only five percent this year. Right, right. So so we we when when uh, the lockdown started mm. and uh, the difficulties in the air cargo business mm. uh, was a fact. We we thought that this was going to be a lot worse, but actually. Uh, it it has turned out quite quite well. However, we right. we would like to see COVID nineteen go away. Yes, very soon. Yeah, but I'm sure that okay. Throughout five days of Thai fix, there will be a lot of Thai buyers. You know, local restaurants, seafood restaurants, as well as hotels. They will visit your booth. Yes. Normally, we, we, we bring Norwegian exporters with us here to Thai fix. Ah. Unfortunately, this year they are not able to attend. Right. Uh, and also, Typhex usually are an uh, exhibition where there's a lot of uh, international, international clients. Yeah. So what we experience here this year is that there are mostly domestic buyers. Right. And of course, they are of high interest for us as well. So hmm. a lot of um, restaurants owners and hotels uh, owners are here. Right. And we, uh, we are really appreciate to be able to, to tell them about Norwegian seafood. Right. But at least we still have international audience who they might not be able to be here physically, but they're watching live on Facebook. What would you like to tell them? Well, I would like to tell them that uh, Typhex is uh, extremely important for us. And the reason why we are present here is that we want to show that that the Thai market and the Southeast Asian market is extremely important for mm -hmm. Norway as a seafood nation. And we hope to see you here in May, maybe next year. <laughs> maybe next year. And usually we have we used to have our, our Norwegian exporters with us. To, this year we are uh, on our own, but we have uh, the Norwegian exporters, they are sitting ringside back in Norway and we have our meeting room back here. <laughs> so if yeah. you would like to come here and have meetings with the Norwegian exporters, you are welcome to. Yes, and if you would like to have Kun AB's contact, you can check out our website on Typhix Anuka Asia 2020 and we have his contact on there. So just go to the website to contact him. So they'll be contacting you. Is that okay? Yeah. That's okay, and I can also go to seafood.no, which okay. is our website address, and there you'll find all the, the details there. Right, or oh, even that is even direct to you. Even directly to me, <laughs> and uh, you can also find all the Norwegian exporters on seafood.no. Uh, okay, sure, we'll visit you. And for Thais who can come to Impact Arena, we can come to this booth. We have three days in this booth. So is there anything else that you want to talk about, or that's it for, for now? Well, I think we have talked about a lot. We, we can show you over here what they are preparing or okay. tasting. Okay. Um, oh. So we have Kun, Jib, uh, Kun uh, or Chef Jib. Oh my She's, goodness! Uh, here Sorry, uh, uh, salmon here. Wow! Or is it wow! Trout? Yeah, this salmon you have. This salmon, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit of what what you are doing here? So now, ค่ะ uh, เรากำลังหั่นแซลมอนนะคะเป็นYes, now I'm gonna do the Norwegian salmon ค่ะ with special. ค่ะ with, with the special menu today. ค่ะ so this is so fresh from Norway. Mm. Then I'm gonna do some like uh, ch uh, stuff with the chili, garlic, and Thai parsley. Ka. Also we have a uh, pomelo. Ka. We roll the that and then we toss with the like a burn. Mm. And then you just taste pure taste of Norwegian salmon. Okay. Yeah, and then just a touch of pomelo is make more and you will get real taste of the Norwegian salmon, right, which is right. the stuff inside. Okay, so that's a sample, right? That's that shim? one, that's a sample one. Ha. Yeah. Me, oh, yes, yes, oh. now I'm gonna do for a sample for everybody who wow. comes and join our booth at Norwegian Seafood here. Nee. So I told everyone that if, if you want to have some salmon, <laughs> feel free to come to your booth. This is the place to be. This is, <laughs> this, the place is the, to be. this is the best place to be. And I have to tell my Facebook audience as well that not only that we look at the salmon, we also get to eat some as well. And I love my life here. So. <laughs> Being with you and the salmon. That's good. So thank, thank you, you for, for your thank time. Thank you for visiting us. It's a pleasure for us to have you here. Thank you very much, sir. And good luck finding your partners and buyers. Guys, stay tuned. We'll go to the next booth soon.
guys, we're back with live streaming. I'm at Poland Pavilion with two gentlemen over here. So would you please, sir, introduce yourself? Maybe let's start with you, sir. Oh, you have the microphone. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, yes, hello. Uh, my name is Norbert. I'm from the Polish Investment and Trade Agency. Yes, sir. Hello, my name is Paweł Mokszycki. I am from the Embassy of Poland. Uh, first of all, we would like to thank you for visiting our booth. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we're happy to welcome you to the Polish Pavilion. And uh, to briefly describe what's happening here mm -hmm. is uh, we both represent uh, over two dozen Polish companies that are interested in expanding to Thai two market. Two thousand? No, no, two dozen. <laughs> like two dozen? Over twenty companies. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was I was shocked. <laughs> Not that but that maybe one day, one day, <laughs> right? Uh, yes, and uh, they produce product, mm. agricultural products of uh, various categories, uh, quite a wide array. That is, dairy products, meat, fruits and vegetables, cool. pastry, uh, confectionery as well. Right. So uh, there's a lot going on in here. So we uh, invite everyone to visit our stand, okay, uh, and to explore our products because so we can give you advice about the companies that uh, are interesting to you. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, if we take a look inside, perhaps, okay. um, as you can see, uh, there is a very big presence of apples here on our stand. <laughs> apples. Uh, that is because uh, Poland uh, got approval to export apples to Thailand. And okay. we are actually the third biggest world producer of apples. Uh, so we oh, would be very happy wow. to introduce this product to Thailand. Okay. Uh, we provide a wide variety of apples, also right. the Thais that are to the liking of uh, Thai people. Ah. Uh, so we can connect you with companies uh, in this field. Mm -hmm. But also, if we, uh, okay. if we perhaps uh, go here. Oh, I can see apples. Yeah. Can I eat it? Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> this is a delicious Polish I can? apple. Okay. Very healthy. Yes. Um, Apples are, are from Poland are actually uh, quite famous, especially in Europe. That's mm -hmm. because Poland is considered to be, let's say, the orchard of uh, Europe because we have certain regions uh, that uh, have exceptional properties of their soil, mm -hmm. uh, which produces apples with distinctive and uh, delicious qualities. Right. Uh, so this is definitely a product of interest. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also another product uh, would be blueberries. Uh, oh, blueberries! We, oh yes, blueberries. Delicious, very popular in yeah, Thailand. Yes, in Thailand, yes. But also Poland is the largest European producer of blueberries. Really? So, yes, yes. Okay. Not not everyone knows this, uh, but we have a lot of this product. So okay. Uh, this is definitely something that uh, we would like to introduce to Thai market as well. Right. Uh, I think yeah, Thai Thais are learning from from you that okay, apple. You're like the third biggest producer mm -hmm. in the world. Yes, in the world. Yeah. And blueberry, you're like the biggest European producer. The biggest European producer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Thai people love blueberries. It's becoming a trend, like a healthy trend. So mm -hmm. they're going to love your product. Yes, we see. We see blueberries are quite popular uh, here in desserts, uh, yes. but also as a fruit to, to eat by itself. So this is definitely something that uh, we can offer. Right. Right. Uh, but then again. Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, a big offer when it comes to uh, meat and fish because uh, ah. we have some uh, great salmon uh, okay. products. If I could in invite Mr. Benjamino, sure. who, is with, uh, who Hi, represents sir. Polish company Millerex, who is a big importer of uh, exporter of uh, salmon. Okay. If I can, if you could say a few words. Okay, because we we're doing live on Facebook, and when we visit your booth, we want to learn okay. your products. And you're going okay. to talk about salmon. I think a lot of Thai people are not, uh, they don't get to know about your salmon yet. Okay. So okay. I can talk about it. Uh, Milorex is the, one of the biggest company who smokes salmon in Poland. Most of the salmon is imported by their pharmacy in Norway and Iceland. They produce uh. after 12 hours that the, the salmon is harvested and they deep frozen and then they resell it in the market in Europe. Right. And also in other country, like in Thailand, that we starting for this year. Okay. The, all the smoky salmon has all the processes with the other regulation for healthy and mm. safety of the product from ACCP, mm. IFS, and BRC. Mm. And there is a, one of the best products you can find in the market. Okay. They're very well famous also in Europe, and the hope is also in Thailand we will start to also eat their salmon too. So it's, it's very new to Thailand, right? Yes. You're just beginning to import. Yes. yes. Salmon to Thailand. Yes, most of the products is coming uh, is produced here in Thailand uh, with product coming from other country, 
but in, uh, in, in Europe, it started more than 60 years ago, the production of smoked salmon. So it's a very established business right, and right. the production. Right. Poland is one of the biggest company, biggest country right now in the production of salmon, and most of the companies are producing right now for all the world. Okay, well, it, it's it's something I learned today as well that Poland also um, you have like a lot of salmon there. No, wow! In, not, in this case, Poland is a processor. Right. I can tell that uh, beside a lot of products from agriculture, meat, dairy, and other products. It's also the biggest country for processing products like salmon. In this case, they're coming from Norway. Right, right. I got it. So you, you have okay, you have raw material from yes. another place, and, and you specialize in processing it, exactly. making it taste perfect yes, and ready exactly. to to be eaten, and then you uh, export it to Thailand. Exactly. So, apart from uh, local ties, what yes. about international markets? Would you like to export it? There as well. The idea Asia. is yes. The idea is uh, starting here as Thailand as a hub, since Thailand is a big country see. and also for consumption and also for production and also to use it for all the Asian market. Asian market is a half of a billion of inhabitants. They can start to consume also this kind of product too. Okay, so for Asian who are watching us right now, I mean. Yeah international audience watching live on Facebook, is there anything you would like to tell them? Well, I would like to tell them that uh, products coming also from other countries like Europe uh, are very important and very good mm -hmm. also to be consumed and there will be an opportunity for to taste this kind of products coming from abroad. I'm sure it's a great opportunity for partners and business dealers so if you're interested you want to contact him we have all the contracts on our website so go to Thaifix on our website and someone will contact you okay. if that's okay with you yes for sure thank right you thank you for your time you're thank welcome. you sir Bye -bye. so maybe back to you thank you yes so um this was uh, about uh, polish fish mm. um, but uh, we have offer in in so many so many areas that we would like to uh, invite everyone to uh, come over and uh, uh, tell us what type of category is of interest to you because uh, the companies that we represent here are uh, not only uh, the biggest companies in Poland but they're mm. also work internationally uh, they are reliable uh, competitive when it comes to prices right. but also the fact that they are uh, quite international mm. uh, proves that they can deliver the highest quality uh, the highest standard quality uh, internationally uh, so th there's really um, there's really a lot to explore here. So uh, that's true. Yeah, uh, we we can advise you on finding some really good uh, new partners here. And because he has over twenty companies that you're looking and looking after, so you know you have a wide range of, of product that you can pick from either apple, blueberry, fruits, or fish. And what else do you have? Yes, exactly. So we mentioned apple. We mentioned fish. Uh, but also dairy products. Uh, we are very strong at dairy products. Dairy products. Yes. Okay. So, so we have uh, very good butter, very good quality butter, uh, cheese, uh, all sorts of cheese. You can name it really. Uh, uh, very good milk. Um, so yes, Poland is one of the hubs for um, dairy products production. Mm, I've heard about that. Yeah. So, so dairy products too. Yes. A lot of dairy products. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so some of the companies. Uh, we, we also have uh, one uh, premium company uh, producing uh, caviar. Mm. And oh. the, pro probably not too many people know, but the uh, Polish company is the second biggest producer of the caviar in the world, actually. Second biggest producer yes. of caviar? Yes, yes. Wow. We, we were hoping they would be physically here with us. Unfortunately, yes. uh, they, they could not make, make it, but uh, right, right. they have asked us to, to represent them here uh, at the spot. Um, okay. So, so I think there is already some interest that we see. Uh, and I think uh, they will be coming to Thailand sooner or later with, with their offer. Probably next year when everything gets better. I'm, I'm sure. Thai fix next year. Exactly. So exactly. all of them will, will come themselves and be at your booth. Yes. Right? Yes, exactly. Yes, but for now, I have some lap. คนไทยทุกคนเลยนะคะที่กําลังชมอยู่นะคะท่านผู้ชมค่ะก็สามารถมาเยี่ยมชมบูธได้นะคะคือโปแลนด์เนี่ยก็จะขึ้นชื่อ
that that's that's all there is sometimes. <laughs> that's all you need. That's all we need exactly. In in the meal, yes. Exactly. Yes. So, for all of you, you can come and visit us. So, the Poland Pavilion, look at the restaurant. ถึง20กว่าบริษัทณตอนนี้นะคะเพราะฉะนั้นสินค้าผลิตภัณฑ์อาหารหลากหลายประเภทเนี่ยอยู่ภายใต้การดูแลของทั้งสองท่านค่ะ I'm saying that because you have more than 20 companies under you mm. so people can come and visit and they can pick the product of their choice whatever they want to uh, distribute for you yes. or export import okay that's something they're going to talk to you directly mm. so Of course, thank you for your time. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to tell our audience? Uh, sure. Maybe one, one more thing is that Poland mm -hmm. is very strong at the uh, OEM production. So let's say if there are big uh, companies in Thailand that want to have a uh, product produced uh, overseas, right? Uh, we have a st very strong offer for that for, for many different product categories. Oh, can? And since, okay. since Poland is very price competitive, uh, <laughs> yes. We and we re we keep the high quality. Uh, we are part of the European Union, so we mm. need to be, meet the standards. Uh, we have a very good offer for, for private label production for, for other companies. That's true. Yeah. I, I kind of, I believe that you have a price energy and you are very um, productive. And with the price, I think yeah, it's something that uh, people can talk to you about. And but yes. yeah, but that's business deal. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, Poland uh, exports mostly <laughs> to Western uh, European countries, right. and the standards there are very high. So mm. we we meet the standards, but we remain at the competitive level. There you go. You heard that. So you have to come to the booth. If you are here, you can come But if you are not here physically, don't worry. Go to our website and contact our booth here on the website. Go to Thai Fix Aduka Asia 2020 for today. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank Lovely you very much. to see you. Thank you. ขอบคุณนะคะขอบคุณค่ะท่านผู้ชมคะเดี๋ยวเราไปอีกบูธหนึ่งนะคะอย่าเพิ่งไปไหนนะคะเดี๋ยวติดตามกันค่ะ
Welcome back. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome back to live streaming. Uh, I'm here at the very important booth. It's the Embassy of Brazil or Brazil Embassy. I'm with Kun William. นะคะ He's the head of defense section, Embassy of Brazil. So welcome, sir. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ First of all, thank you for being with me and uh, taking your time to explain and show me what uh, Brazil is all about. Thank so, you. So, sir, what is it all about? Yes. Uh, well, first of all, ค่ะ This is the second time we're officially. In Tai Fek Sanuga, oh, okay. so we started last year in 2019. We had a, a 36 square meter pavilion mm. uh, with seven different companies. Okay, and we decided to expand it this year for 90 square meters. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> with the pandemic, we had to shrink our plans. Right, right. Yes. But we decided to maintain our presence so right. that Thank we, you. we can remain. Being seen mm. and show our support for Tai Fek Sanuga that is effectively the The mm. biggest and most important fair for food and beverage in Southeast Asia. Definitely. Yes. It's a very important show. It has to. It has to go on, even though there's a COVID-19. Exactly. No, and the situation in Thailand is controlled, so we can't do this. We can afford to do this. So, yes. Yes, which is very fortunate. Yes, sir. Uh, so this year, because we are mostly a, a, an institutional booth, we are showcasing our country with some videos explaining what Brazil is about. This yes. is a video about coffee. And everybody knows Brazil, Brazilian coffee, which is actually the the best in the world. It's like a re reputation. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Cocoa. Brazil yeah. is the the biggest producer and exporter of coffee in the world. Mm. So Brazilian coffee has a brand of its own. Right. We do have some companies here that uh, produce coffee, but we are government, so you can read on top. It's the Embassy <laughs> of Brazil. So uh, uh, it's an institutional representation of both Brazil as a whole. And also of ten different companies. Ten? Yes, uh, that were selected in a partnership between our Ministry of Foreign Relations and the Ministry of Agriculture of Brazil. Right. Uh, they obviously they cannot be here for the physical section of the hybrid edition, but they are going to participate in the virtual section of the right. hybrid edition. Right. So uh, we do have some of their materials, mm -hmm. and we can showcase them for any visitors. We have been having some good amount of uh, visitors, of buyers uh, okay. interested in the companies. Uh, those companies are from a diverse range of sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, they're from coffee sector. They produce acai, uh, uh, fisheries, right. cashew nuts, honey. Uh, I mean, a whole range of products, 10 different companies. So if any, if anyone is interested in Brazilian mm -hmm. products from a whole range of fields, they can just come here, have a coffee with us. And oh, I can have a coffee here? Yes. Okay. We, a, we can offer a little bit of coffee. Right. Not too much, but it's special. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's nice. Yeah, yes, and warm. Is, yeah. But and actually, learn a bit about Brazil as well. Yes. And... I You, you are correct. Actually, Thailand is a growing market for coffee. Yes. I would say more than half of people here drink coffee. So it's going to be a great opportunity, great business. Yes. So Thai can try new kind of coffee, exactly. different tiers of coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have been to some other booths around, uh, visiting around the fair. Yes, sir. And I, can, I, I managed to see that there are some companies that not only produce their own coffee, but they also import coffee. To make their blends, or even to make a different brand for themselves, yes, and I many of them too, yeah. were very interested in hearing about Brazilian coffee because mm -hmm. it's known around the world, and still is not so present here in Thailand. So they look for something to differentiate themselves from the from the competitors. From the rest, yes, yes. that's so, true, sir. Because I saw a Thai company this morning; they actually uh, they mix together. A uh, Thai coffee roast mm -hmm. with Brazilian coffee roast. Yes. So it's like 50% Thai, 25% Brazilian, and then 25% another country. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, you can do something like this. Yes. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So the <laughs> blends. Each company have has their own blends, and the blends give different tastes and feels to the coffee. So it's a it's a valid strategy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, sometimes you can mix identity, mix tastes together. Exactly. It comes up with something very nice and exactly. very good. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's as a good long opportunity. As long as Brazilian coffee, we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> happy. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, apart from Thai, 
buyer, sir. Yes. What about Asian markets? Yes. Uh, You're looking to expand? Yeah. Typex is the is the center of our strategy uh, as a fair for Southeast Asia because it is the biggest fair in Southeast Asia. Yes. So in the previous edition, uh, the last year we had seven companies they managed to do very good business mm. with not only thai buyers but mostly with foreign buyers that were here okay. to look for exporters present in the fair right right so this time uh, unfortunately those foreign buyers cannot be here as well <laughs> uh, but they all will be okay. present in the virtual yeah. section of the hybrid edition right. just like our companies so that's why the interest remains high uh, from our side because mm -hmm. they understand that Typhax Anuga is a very important opportunity for them to showcase their products right. in the whole in the whole of Southeast Asia and Asia as a whole. Right, because yeah. sir, no matter what happened to economy, people still drink coffee. Oh, true. Yes, yes. <laughs> always. Right. They need coffee to remain awake and to work well <laughs> That's to make true. the economy to come back. Energy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because. I can see that no matter what happened, the food industry would always be here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and so, not, not only coffee, also acai. If you need energy, you, you can eat and drink acai. Right. Acai berry, do you know it? It's a, I've heard of it, but I haven't tried yet. Yeah, it's a very mm -hmm. important Amazon food. It's in the superfood category. Mm -hmm. So it's very energetic. Okay. It has good fats, you know, the fats that make good for you, not bad. Like refreshing? Yes, and very energetic. It's oh, okay. like coffee. You can you can have it and you'll be ready to work and ready to be right. good and nutritious so you don't feel hungry. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'll try that. I'll try that. Yeah, I want to know important. about that. Yeah. yeah. And sir, before oh, end session, I like this. Yes. This is like Thai flag and Brazilian exactly, flag together. Yes. So it's our partnership. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last year, 2019, uh, marked our 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations, of the establishment oh. of our bilateral diplomatic relations between wow. Brazil and Thailand. So it has been a very important mark for us to start our presence in Typhax yes. and to do many other types of activities mm -hmm. and which have been expanding into this year despite the pandemic. So I'm sure mm -hmm. that uh, trade and, and cultural, any type of bilateral relationship between Brazil and Thailand are just going to grow from now on. Yeah. And stronger and stronger yes, between yes. Thailand and Brazil. Exactly. Lastly, sir, is there anything you would like on Facebook, Thai and international. Uh, well, if you're interested in good quality products, uh, be it coffee, beef, acai, fisheries, whatever, think about Brazil and its products because they're top notch in the world and you surely like it. And about Typex Anuga, if you want a good fair <laughs> to be at, be a Typex Anuga. <laughs> Correct. And contact for the contact go to our website Anuka Asia 2020 we have Embassy of Brazil contact on the website Great. so sir thank you very much for your time and okay. good luck with all the business deals that you're getting for today tomorrow until the last day of Thai Fix thank you so much thank you so much Kapa Kapa. and my session of live streaming would have to end now and stay tuned because within one hour and a half we'll be back on stage so see you soon guys